Another day, another slew of players added to the COVID list. YouTube, what's going on? It's one guy to here. We another Washington football team video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with some more COVID news. And it seems like COVID has been the only thing that's been going on with the Washington football team. Even though it has not been the only thing, it feels like it has because it's been mostly the, the most important part of this team this week. So, without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified and upload a video about the NFL. Or in this case, I watched the football team. Let's get straight into today's video. So, three more players for the Washington football team have been placed on COVID reserve, um, and that brings the total up to 21 people, 21 Washington football team players are now on the COVID list and have the COVID-19 um, virus. And um, it, it sucks again, man, we, but we've been talking about this all week. Um, one thing that I do want to say is, um, yes, it is still a game this Sunday. As of right now, um, Roger Goodell has not said anything about you know, postponing this game, and nor should he. I mean, obviously, um, we're fans, and we and we want to see our players out there. So we kind of feel like it's unfair to to postpone, um, to not postpone this game, and to make us play with what we got. But rules are rules. NFL already said this year that they're not canceling games. I mean, you know, you guys remember last year when the Steelers had their COVID outbreak? We had to get our game rescheduled to that Monday night. You know what I'm saying? So um, they they already made it clear that they're not rescheduling any games, and, and uh, rightfully so, right? Because again, they have a schedule that they have to follow, and they have no time to rearrange that due to your team wanting to act up and have a COVID virus. And um, you could say the same thing for other teams too, like our. Uh, uh, why would they just postpone our game? If that's the case, then they will have to postpone the Browns game. And they play on Saturday. The Rams are having an outbreak. So we're not the only team that's having this outbreak. Maybe we're the only team that is having this big of an outbreak. Uh, but, again, we're not the only team. So they're not just going to postpone our game, right? And, uh, again, we have to play with what we got, right? Um, so the next three players that have tested positive for COVID or has been placed on the COVID list is none other than safety Cameron Curl. Oh, my God, bro. Out of all players, not Cam Curl. Not my guy. Bro. No! Why are you doing that? That's my guy! Bro, like, not my guy. I know that's my dog, man. Oh, not Cam Curl. And the two other players that have been placed on the COVID list is center Tyler Larson and center Keith Ishmael. So even though Cam Curl is my dog, you know what I'm saying, I want him out there playing. I kind of feel like the center position is is more important at this point because, again, we have no center. Wes Schweitzer still hurt. Uh, Chase Rooley obviously done for the season. Tyler Larson, he's out right now with COVID, and every time he comes back, he gets even more hurt. Um, a lot of people thought he broke his ankle. I thought he broke his ankle because that's what I was hearing. Um, but it seems like it's not that serious, but he's on the COVID list now, and he's hurt. So, Again, we're short centers, and now Keith Ishmael, our other center, I like what's that? Our our our, uh, our third center, um, you know, according to the depth chart, not counting West Wright or having to move to center, um, due to Andrew Thomas specifically center, he's our third center, and now he's out with COVID. Well, again, West Wright that had to play center, even though he's a guard, he's out. So now, who is playing center for us? Let me tell you who's playing center for us: John Tooth or or John Toth. John Toth is playing center for the Washington football team this Sunday, more likely than not. Again, I don't know the vaccination status of everyone, but again, it's getting later in the week. And um, I believe they have to have two negative tests, 48 hours apart or 24 hours apart. So, I mean, there is a slight chance they still could play. But again, I don't know the status of everybody. I don't know if Cameron Curl is vaccinated. I don't know if Tyler Larson is vaccinated. I don't know if Keith Ishmael is vaccinated. So, as of right now, ladies and gentlemen... Along with, you know, 18 other players, it's look like we're going to war with John Toth as our center. John Toth. And he's going to be going up against Fletcher Cox, and I don't like that matchup. Because, again, this is a guy that if everyone was healthy, he wouldn't even be on the active roster. He wouldn't even be on the active roster. So, it, it, it's scary. It's scary, again, because... We're getting we're getting more banged up at the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? Again, not just with COVID, but we have a slew of regular injuries. Terry, 
Curtis with the hamstring now. JD, Wendell Smallwood, just to name a few. We're getting Sam Cosby back, so that's a good sign. But again, we don't know until this game is kicked off. And even up until, literally up until the minute we kicked, they, they kicked the ball off um, this Sunday. I'm saying they. Uh, I should say we because I want us to kick the ball off and get the ball in the second half. But that's neither here nor there. Up until we kicked the ball off Sunday at 1.05-ish p.m., COVID still can happen. I mean, Washington already put out something and said that they expect this to be the last batch of players that uh, that has tested positive for COVID. But again, we don't know. We don't know. I'm pretty sure they didn't expect it to get to 18, let alone 21. So even though they're saying they expect, just because you expect doesn't mean that's always the case. Just because they expect 21 to be the tops doesn't mean that's going to be the case. I mean, 21 players, guys. 21 majority of those 21 are players that we need <laughs> right you can make a case that we need all 21 but but it's asinine to even think that we're to this point right um all i'm gonna say man is if we find a win this game this sunday we don't need to be throwing no rock or no stone we need to be doing something you know what i'm saying we need to be doing something more you know, something more, you know, um, over the top. Because if we find a way to win with these guys, there's no excuse when we get our starters back. I mean, if we find a way to win with these guys also, put Ron Rivera in the coach of the year conversation. Because <laughs> I mean, like, God, dog. Like, like literally, we have who, who, who's going to be out there? It looks like a preseason roster. You know, like, who is going to be out there? Like, obviously, we know, as fans, we know who's going to be out there because we're diehards. We know this roster up and down. So we literally know who's going to be out there. But from, like, from just the the the, the, the quick thinking, it's like, who's going to be out there? Jeremy Reeves, DeShays Everett, <laughs> maybe even Corn Elder, bro. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, Daniel Wise, Nate Orchard, who we just had to bring in. Hercules, we like like we're banged up, dog. Like like we are with injuries and with COVID. I love me some Jeremy Reeves, I do. But I very much would rather have Cameron Curl. I love the shades of ever, but I would very much rather have Cameron Curl as my starting safety, right? Um, but again, guys, it, it sucks, man. Um, if we find a way to win this game this Sunday, man, we deserve to go to the playoffs. I mean, like literally, we do. We do. And there's no excuses why we can't if we find a way to win this Sunday. This is a big, big game, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one thing I'm going to say to the Eagles, and I don't want to talk trash to the Eagles. I'm just going to be straight up. If you guys lose to us, y'all have bigger problems than what you thought. Because there's no reason you should lose to us. Um, and, and it's simple as that, man. It's simple as that because we're banged up physically and well i guess that's physically too covid is physical so i guess we're banged up injuries and covid wise i mean 21 guys 21 it's crazy but i'm gonna get out of here man let let you guys enjoy the rest of your day let me know how you guys feel about this what is your confidence levels going into this game i don't have much i'll let you guys know that now um but yeah the three more players three more victims are added to the covid list for washington star safety camera curl Center Tyler Larson and center Keith Ishmael. So let me know what you guys think about this video down below. As always, me and Bo Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Help to watch the football team. I'm out. Pick. Give it. Give it. Uh, cross me one time. That's going to get you pop.